Om Shanti, we are doing the recording of 20th of June. We had missed out four days because of the yoga day, because of my traveling. So we're going to record four days of Godly Blessing, but we're going to get to listen two days of Godly Blessing each day. That is today, you're going to listen to two of them, short ones. And then tomorrow, I'll be uploading the next two of them, the short ones. And in the evening, tomorrow, we'll be listening to 24th of June's Godly Blessing. So let's go ahead with today's. God says don't get disheartened and don't have the arrogance because both of these negative emotions or feelings, they bring about our own doom or they don't allow us to progress ahead in life. Let's see what does it mean. God says may you become free from disheartenment and arrogance and carry out the task of renewal with humility. Never become disheartened in your efforts. I have to do this. I have to become this. The Rosary of Victory is my memorial. Become victorious with this awareness. So that means have high hopes of yourself. Sing your own praises because nobody in the world is going to praise you until unless you sing your own praises. So God says praise yourself in a very spiritual and a very pure manner. That you are the victorious jewel or you are the victorious bead in the rosary of victory. Then God says, become victorious with this awareness. Do not give a place for disheartenment to enter your heart for even a second or a minute. I can't do it. I am always being a failure. I am falling down into vices. Never have this kind of disheartenment in any kind of aspect in your life. Then God says, both arrogance and disheartenment do not allow you to become strong. Those who have arrogance also have a lot of feeling of being insulted. So even a simple thing, if someone tells us and if we feel insulted, that means we have big problems of self-worth, big problems of self-esteem, self-value, which we should develop with the help of affirmations very powerful, very very pure formations. We should guard ourselves, our true selves and separate it from the fake self and then protect that pride which you have attained over a period of experiences and time. So God says those who have arrogance also have a lot of feeling of being insulted. That's why some of them, they feel insulted and they stop on the path because they focus on how the other person is also wrong or what the other person also doesn't have in them. And that is the arrogance of finding faults. And that's where we focus on others and not on ourselves and we stop progressing in life. So God says those who have a lot of feeling of being insulted also don't progress ahead in life. Therefore, become free from both of these and you will then be able to carry out the task of renewal, renewal of the self And with the self change, there'll be change in the world. And that is what we want to do. That is what God wants us to do. How do we do it is what we learn in Brahma Kumaris. And the most important thing is removing of arrogance. And at the same time, removing of any kind of disheartenment is what it means to have self-renewal. With this, Om Shanti.